This is why I am here at CES 2019. I'm over here at the Altel booth, and Andrew over here is going to tell us about the Evo drone. Can you please tell us about it? Thanks, Wyatt, for having us. So, hey guys, this is the Auto Robotics Evo drone. It came out earlier last year, and uh, it's been doing really well out on the market. We're getting a lot of positive reviews back from the camera and the build quality on this aircraft. So, uh, the camera here is on a three axis stabilized gimbal shooting 4K video at 60 frames per second. We paired that with an Umbrella image processor as well, so we're getting around 11 stops of dynamic range from this tiny little camera here. So can you tell us a little bit about the battery life of your drone? Yeah, so the battery life we're getting right around 30 minutes. Out in the real world with wind condition stuff, we're seeing around 25, 26 minutes with all those fail-safe features built in um, to bring that drone back and land safely where you took off from. And I noticed that you have a lot of sensors on your drone. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so on the front here, we're looking at two computer vision systems that are looking at a 3D world, essentially, mapping out what's in front of it so it can detect obstacles, stop, move around them in, in certain modes like dynamic track where it's autonomously following you. And so that way it makes, makes you as the pilot a little bit safer, a little bit easier to fly that around. Um, as well, we have a rear IR sensor on the back and that's gonna help detect obstacles when you're in regular GPS mode. Uh, when we're flying indoors using the start point positioning system, it'll also give us rear obstacle avoidance. Down on the bottom, we have two sonar sensors and two more optical flow cameras that are looking at the ground. So as you see the drone flying around inside our booth, it's looking at the ground, recognizing, and we get the same stability that we would when we're connected to satellites outside. Now, on your controller, I noticed that you have a screen. Can you tell us a little bit about your screen? So the controller has a 3.3 inch OLED screen built in. So we're getting redundant telemetry down here. So when our phone's connected, we're getting the same information in case our phone does get disconnected. But we've all been out in the field and we've all had that dead cell phone and that really kind of stops your flight time. With this controller, we can actually switch over to the live video feed um, and then get the, the signal at a 720 resolution. Um, and then with that as well, you're not only getting the video signal, you're getting your camera settings. So I can adjust my ISO, shutter speeds, I can even get into my menus and adjust my obstacle avoidance, resolutions and all that right from the controller so there's no need for my cell phone. I can do everything essentially from here. The cell phone will give me autonomous flight modes such as waypoint, dynamic track and those features and that's where the benefit is hooking the phone up there. Now go ahead and tell us a little bit about your cameras. I noticed that on your features you said you have 4K60 which is very new to the system. Yes, yeah, so 4K60 gives us a lot of room in post-production and editing. A lot of stuff is going out at 30 frames per second so that means we can slow things down by half. And so you'll see a lot of our videos on our YouTube channel that really highlight this showcasing that you can get these epic shots and then slow them down and get really, really see the emotion of what you're capturing there. And that's all happening with the camera up there on the, on the front with that Sony sensor, our real glass optics, um, giving you nice, sharp, crystal clear imagery. And then paired with our, uh, the, the Amberell image processor, we're, getting, we're able to shoot an H.264 or H.265 along with log color profiles, which give us that huge range for dynamic uh, range. Now, also a lot of people have been reporting that you have good customer service because a lot of people do end up crashing their drones. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, definitely. So um, one thing when we first started and we looked at the drone industry, the one thing we saw and saw that was lacking was the support and service after you spend the cash to get into, into flying. And so we want to make sure that we can back our products with someone on the other, on the other end of the phone that can walk you through new features, that can help you set up and repair in case you have that event of crashing. Because even with some of these sensors, people still find a way to make these things crash. But being able to have someone on the other end of the line to get that service set up is a, is a huge difference and it's speaking volumes um, with our community. That is definitely a great differentiating factor. Can you tell us a little bit about the price and where you can get it? Yeah, sure. So they're available right now on autorobotics.com. This uh, standard kit, the Evo, is a ready-to-fly unit. It retails at $999, and that's going to be the controller, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, battery, a set of extra propellers, um, and the controller and the charger. So everything gets you up in the air going and start filming. We do offer a rugged bundle kit as well, and that comes in this nice hard case, and that's going to come with two additional batteries, and that retails for $1,250. Oh. And that's also available right on our website, autorobotics.com. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, Wyatt.